Hello everybody! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm a couple minutes late and oh my goodness, I was starting to go into a little hot flash because, oh my good lord, Facebook has changed again. So when I came on the screen, to go live, there's no live. I always click on, on my phone, publish, and then live and do all the things. It wasn't there, it wasn't there. I went on my computer, I'm like, okay, I see a live button on my computer, but computer setup is different from phone setup. Good grief, the things we need to know. <laughs> I was just about to like go on to Zoom and come in here and stream through Zoom into my Facebook account because I couldn't figure it out, so. Once again, thank you, Facebook. Thank you very much for all that stress. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're here to have a good time tonight. And um, I got my hair cut this week, you guys. I know I didn't, um, I didn't do it today because after I got out of the shower, I got really warm and uh, it just gets all icky when it's warm anyway. So it's clean, smells good, feels good. Yeah, and I went and got my nails done. They were breaking again, not as bad as last time, but they were breaking. So I went and got my nails done. Just a little bit of glitter on that one. Something a little different. So I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. I see everybody coming in here. Hi, Donna. Hi, Sue. Hi, Andy. Happy stamping to you too. I'm excited to be here tonight on this beautiful August 22nd. It was an incredible day incredibly gorgeous day here in Wisconsin today. The humidity went away last night and it was super humid. Um, but the humidity went away last night and it was just a beautiful, well, some of the day was a little overcast, but then it was beautiful sunny. I went for my bike ride this morning. I saw five deer today, 10 yesterday. I've never seen 10 before. So that was pretty cool. And um, what else? Steve was working in my old office downstairs. We had that painted and now he's moving some electrical and cable around. And so he's working on that. We're gonna turn my old office into a bedroom for Val and Molly. So we're excited about that. Molly's, well, Val could care less, right? She doesn't understand, but <laughs> Molly's really excited. And so as soon as we get everything done, I'm gonna get a little area rug to put in there and um, get some furniture. So Molly has a nice place to sleep because she stays overnight, one night a week at least. So that's kind of fun. Okay, I'm gonna pull me up on my um, iPad. Let's see if that can be successful. We'll see what happens. Oh, there I am. Uh, oh, I think this was super easy. Excellent. I can see all of your guys' comments coming in. Hang on. Let me put that right up here. I'll give you a close-up of my beautiful crown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm still wearing that stupid thing. Some lady asked me that. Did I tell you guys that? Are you still wearing that stupid crown? Yep. <laughs> you don't like it? Bye-bye, Karen. Oh, my goodness, people. Like, why? Why? Yeah. Anyways, um... Let's see what's going on tonight. Oh, I have prizes. We're gonna be giving away prizes. I have mail too. So don't let me forget to do mail at the end because I love to share my mail with you guys. I get some of my biggest inspiration from the mail that you guys send me, the cards. So, um, Becky's asking who is Molly? Molly is one of the grandkids. Um, you know that my husband, Steve, has three children, so I am a stepmother, evil stepmother. No, they love me. Um, I'm a stepmom, and Molly is one of, um, there's Stephanie and Anna and then Steven, and Molly belongs to Anna. So, and Molly and Steve are pretty tight, so Molly spends a lot of time over here, and um, he, like, she goes to a Catholic school, and so he will pick her up and take her to school and stay for mass and then he on Tuesdays and he always picks her up after school and then she usually stays overnight here during the summer on school nights she usually goes home but that might change we don't know anyways that's who Molly is she's a delight and of course then you know Val Val is um is Haley's baby 
and she just turned one in April, so she's a hoot and a half. And who just said they wish they had a crown? Hey, go get yourself one. They are, the, everybody stamps better when they wear a crown. Like, get yourself a crown and you can stamp like a queen. <laughs> or at least you'll feel pretty doing it, right? <laughs> um, let's see. Who is that? Share. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm like, what? I wrote this a little earlier today. And no, I have not been drinking. Um, today... So you guys know that I kind of started my diet again on Monday because I would like to lose about 10 to 15 pounds. And um, I have my big million dollar trip coming up in October. And of course, I would like to, you know, drop a few pounds so that I feel like I deserve to wear that crown. I don't know. Anyways, um, I have my million dollar trip to the Stampin' Up! headquarters in Riverton, Utah, which is right outside Salt Lake City. And so I'm, I'm trying to drop a few pounds for that. And um, as of yesterday, I'm down about six or seven pounds. So that's pretty cool. Who just said they have a whole bunch of crowns in their mouth? Yeah, me too. Like all of these teeth. <laughs> the ones that aren't silver are crowned. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's so expensive, isn't it? Like I have a million dollar mouth too. <laughs> Besides what comes out of it. So, um, anyways, I have that trip coming up. So I've lost about six or seven pounds, um, this week. And most of that I know is water weight because I'm eating better and I'm not eating all the junk that makes me like, you know, you get up in the morning, you can't get your rings off because you're all swollen because you ate too much salt from, you know, the fish fry and the cheese curds and the French fries and all the good things. But anyway, so that's going really good. I've been going for my bike rides every day. I started up again this week. I don't remember when, but um, that's been awesome because I really enjoy them. And let's see. Um... I wanted to update you guys on some backordered items and um, the evergreen sheer ribbon is on back order. I don't remember the date, but the one that really caught me was the gold ribbon and we're going to be using that tonight. It just went on back order. It'll be in on the 20th of September. It is worth the wait. It's so beautiful. Um, but I want to let you know that's what's happening. I'm pretty sure it's still orderable, so they haven't turned it off yet. So that's good. And then the turtle punch was supposed to be in last week and it has been pushed back to the 13th of September. So for those of you waiting for that punch for me, because I have some kits that are waiting for that punch, um, just know that it'll be here on hopefully the week of the 13th. COVID has done a lot of things, you know, and these delays, I think um, the pushbacks, they have to do with that too. So, okay. Um, postcode. Here, let, I printed out a new one. Oh, hang on. I can't get it. Let me grab my scissors. See if I can wreck it. Oh, hang on. Ugh. It's under my stand. Sorry, everybody, which is really heavy. Try that. <laughs> hang on. Ugh, do you like my bangs? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that was really hard. <laughs> I know this is backwards, but when I turn my camera around to face my desk, it's going to be right side. And um, please remember when you're placing orders with me and your um, order is under $150 to use the code. You can always find this little code in the right-hand column on my blog, www.estampabove.com or at the bottom of every single blog post. So all the cards I make tonight are going on a blog post. When you get down towards the bottom, you'll see the little owl thing with the host code. If you could use that host code, it used to be that, and if you're in my technique club, you must use the host code or you don't get the benefits that come with it. Um, Stampin' Up! used to let us call them or um, message them with a list of host codes that needed to be moved or orders that needed to be moved over to the host code. Now we're only allowed to do a certain amount of those a month because it's become too time consuming for them. Um, so it's going to be up to you guys and I sure appreciate your cooperation there because that's what allows me to get stuff to give away. Okay. So 
postcode. Make sure you're using it if your order's under $150. And um, what else? I've got a John update. It's pretty lame. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, John left today with his wife. I don't know where they were going, but they were going someplace and that's all I've got. Like, I've got nothing. John has become so boring since he retired. Like, he's just staying home most of the time. There is nothing going on over there. I have nothing to tell you. It's becoming kind of like a dumb subject. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> For those of you that might be new, John is my neighbor. And since COVID hit, um, you know, we had a lot of silly things going on here with, with my Facebook Live. But one of the things I, my husband started doing was giving me reports on John, who lives right next door to us. And um, it, it would just be just silly things like, John got a new lawnmower. <laughs> That's it. So I've been giving updates on John and everybody who's been following along um, looks forward to those. And I just want to let you know, I really, I, all I've got is lame John left and that's it. Um, he came back too. So <laughs> I don't know where he went. <laughs> I need a new John. Kimberly says, I do need a new John. Hmm. Wonder what I could come up with. I need to come up with something new and exciting. Anyways, tonight we are going to be doing the beautiful bay window fun fold and this is the first time i've ever made them and can i just say oh my gosh so simple you're gonna love them um so i'm excited about that i've got three different cards that i made with this with this um bay window i saw somebody just says your john updates make me laugh i know they're so dumb right <laughs> um also Bingo. I have cards and bingo this Wednesday. So it is a card class, just like the live here, only it's a YouTube live. And um, it starts at 7 p.m. Central Time. It is open to the public. If you register with me, you then get to play along with the bingo, but everybody can attend the class. And we'll be making five beautiful cards. I have, oh, I just put that one set away, didn't I? Oh, no. I have three of them done, and they're super cute. This is one of the stamp sets that we're using in the bingo night. And, of course, when you do register for bingo, hang on, I'm looking for my mini catalog. When you do register for bingo, you always have the opportunity to add on the three stamp sets or bundles that I'm using if you don't have them. And um, you get a make and take packet, which is really fun. All five cards, I cut everything for you and you get some product in with your make and take packet. So for $35, it is very worth it. Um, you do have a new John. I do have a new John in my bathroom. <laughs> and can I just say, you guys, pause for a moment on bingo. My bathroom is right there and you know, Fred redid it and he did such a beautiful job that honestly, every time I take a shower, I feel like I'm in a fancy hotel, like not even lying. So pretty exciting for this old house. Um, anyways, back, back from the John in the bathroom and the toilet and all the things. We're going to go back to bingo now. <laughs> this, um, Strong of Heart stamp set. It's very, very pretty. And this is Stampin' Up's Make a Difference stamp set. Um, for each Strong of Heart stamp set purchased, Stampin' Up will donate $3 to support heart health. So this is their way of making a difference. And uh, very, very simple designs, but yet super pretty. The sentiments say, through struggle comes strength here for you. You amaze me and stronger than you know. So just a really good, one of those good stamp sets that everybody needs in their arsenal of supplies, right? So um, Annie's asking, where do you register for bingo? Bingo registration is closed right now. Um, it closed last Wednesday. I know, squirrel, right? I know. <laughs> um, but I will have registration. Let me grab my calendar. Registration for September. Oh, I got to make sure I plan when I'm going to do that. I got so many things going on in September. Um, registration will probably open up on the 15th for, or maybe the 8th. Maybe the 8th. I'll have to look at my calendar. September 8th, registration will open up for September 
bingo. So you're going to find that on my blog, Annie. It's www.estampabove.com. And you, when we're done here, you should go there and um, put your email address in to subscribe to my blog. And then every time I put something on it, which I'll have bingo, it will um, it will come into your email inbox. And Annie just asked if I have bingo every month. I have for the last several months, yes. So I don't plan on that going anyplace. But anyways, this is one of the pretty stamp sets we're going to be using. So that'll be fun. Okay, um, next thing, family. What's happening with my family? Um, I went over to Anna's house and helped clean out Molly's bedroom while she was gone over the weekend, Friday. And it took us a, quite a while because, you know, 10-year-old kids sometimes can be pretty messy. We got it all cleaned out and um, we're doing laundry and getting it all put back together. So Molly has a super nice room. Um, Haley used to be kind of messy like this too. Like her room would just get to be a complete disaster. And then she'd go through it and clean it all up. Well, Molly was really struggling with that. So me and Anna hit it when she went up north with her other grandma. Um, so we got her room all cleaned out and I'm super excited to decorate it because she's got tons of unicorn decorations and we're going to make it look so pretty. So maybe I'll share some pictures with you of that. Um, little Miss Val, I had her all day on Wednesday. She was a perfect angel and I'm not even kidding. She was so cute and so sweet and so happy. So I think she's over her terrible twos now at 15 months. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, what else? Steve is doing good. Today he made me, he, um, pan seared some shrimp with garlic, garlic and, um, Montreal steak seasoning. And he put a little cilantro, no, not yet. No, oh, oh, curry in with it and something else. And he pan seared them and then he cut up red peppers, yellow peppers, onions, mushrooms, um, tomatoes, which I don't really like. Um, what else did he put in there? Oh my gosh. All kinds of goodies for salad and lettuce. And yeah. And then, so I had a big shrimp salad for supper and then he made his breakfast dish, which is scrambled eggs with chopped onions, red peppers, green peppers, sausage. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's supposed to be breakfast burrito, but I don't really like burritos for breakfast. I know I'm a little weird that way. I don't eat pizza for breakfast either. Like that's not a breakfast food. <laughs> and I don't feel like a burrito is a breakfast food either, but I will eat that with a piece of toast with some strawberry jam. So he was cooking all afternoon. It was, oh, the house smelled so good. It was amazing. All right, we are going to get to prizes. I think I did everything on my list there. Oh yeah, I need my list for the prizes. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. There are three ways to win tonight. One of them is to leave a comment. So if you're new to me, whether you're here now live, here later to watch on Facebook, or you watch on YouTube, please comment, leave a comment because all of those People get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Right now, coming up for Christmas, I still have some of these tool tidings glitter dots. They are beautiful. And this is for leaving a comment last time. The winner is Charlene Schulmeister of Antioch, Illinois. Congratulations, Charlene. These are going to be coming your way. Woohoo! All right, next up, I have some beautiful ombre gift bags. All of the in colors are in here. They are beautiful. So much fun to create with. You can make cards out of these or use them for gift bags, but they're really, really pretty. And then because I still have a ton of this paper left, hang on, I'm gonna fan it for you. Ready? So, so pretty. Well, that didn't go very good, did it? Um, I have a half a pack of this paper and the ombre gift bags, and these are for sharing this video. So right now, someplace on your screen, you can share this video, and that helps me grow my business, and I so appreciate it if you would share this video. Um, for sharing last week's video, 
Shirley Ann Nicholson. You are my winner tonight. Congratulations. And Sher or I'm sorry, Shirley Ann. Did I say Sherry Ann? I meant Shirley Ann Nicholson. I don't have your address. So if you could private message me on Facebook or pop me an email, Kelly at a stamp above.com, that would be awesome. I will get your prize out to you. Last but not least, I don't remember who gave this to me because my little post-it note, I try to put a post-it note on the back so I can remember to thank people, but somebody had two of these bundles. Hang on, this is heavy. Two of these bundles by accident. I know, right? <laughs> so we've got Christmas Gleaming stamp set and the punches that go with it. Holy cannoli, right? Two punches. And this is for placing an order between my last Facebook Live and tonight. And my winner is Jill Hefner of West Liberty, Ohio. Yay, congratulations! Jill, I'm so excited for you. And because I have so much of this paper, this was from our last celebration, I'm going to send you a half a pack of that as well. And can I just add, it has nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> It's just some extra paper because I need to give this away. <laughs> okay, let me set the prizes over to the side so they don't get jumbled into anything and get lost, right? All right. Yes, congratulations to all the winners. Woohoo! Super exciting. Um, I think we are ready to start stamping. Let's see. Oh, my leg itches. I have, oh, you guys, look at, you guys want to see? I shaved my legs today. They're really hairy. <laughs> Is that too much information? <laughs> they were, though. I, I found hairs on them, like, this long every once in a while. I must have missed last time, but I got it all taken care of. So is that more than you really needed to know? I don't know. I think we're ready to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you again the card that um, Sharon Kersey made for me with the towel that she sent me. I think I took it downstairs in the kitchen now for Steve to ruin. And if you missed that whole conversation, check on my Facebook live from last week because it's pretty funny. <laughs> we are going to be using the beautiful Blackberry Beauty Ephemera pack. Oh, who has this? This is part of the Blackberry Beauty um, suite of products. And can I just say delicious? Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Here's the stamp set, beautiful images, some really nice sentiments. Um, and then we have, check this out. Oh, that cuts out, giant leaf. Like very intricate, beautiful, beautiful giant leaf and two small leaves. And then we have these dies that go with the images and two small leaves again that are in the stamp set called Beauty of Tomorrow. Okay, we're also going to be using the Tasteful Label Dies. And what else do I have in here? Ooh, brushed metallic. I lost my, lost my train of thought. Adhesive backed dots. Boy, that was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> and this is the ribbon I was talking about. Can you see the shine on this? Oh my good grief, it is beautiful. This is on back order until the 20th of September. Uh, I'm so sorry, but put it on your order because it's gonna be worth it. Get a couple of them because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You are gonna use it like crazy because I know I have been. And then you're gonna be sad when you run out. Just saying. Okay, I have all my goodies out here. Set my basket over there. I think we are ready to turn this beast around. And hang on, let me get out my cardstock layers. We're gonna be ready to rock and roll. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, all right guys, hang tight, close your eyes. Uh, yes, everybody's saying they do, they do, they do. It is beautiful, I'm not kidding. Close your eyes, I'm gonna flip my camera around. And I don't want anybody getting sick. There's no throwing up and stamping. Okay, make sure everything is straight. Oh, it looks so dark over here all the time. I wish I had, I wish I was an expert at lighting, but I'm not. Okay, this is my host code. Um, if you're planning on placing an order, you can write it down right now. Otherwise, like I said, it's always on the right-hand column 
my blog and at the bottom of every blog host post, you're going to see, you're going to see this whole little owl thing that says host code. So very helpful to me when you use that only if your order is under $150. This is the template for the bay window. And as I was making these today, you guys, I decided to come up with a card challenge. So here's the deets. When we're done here tonight, I'm going to post a graphic with this template in it. And it also says challenge, like um, comic book challenge graphic, and then this. And you guys are going to, your challenge is to make this card. I'm gonna show you, it looks complicated. Don't panic, it's really easy. But I'm gonna show you how to make this card. And then under the graphic that I put up for the challenge, you are going to post pictures of the cards that you make with the Bay Window Fun Fold. And um, there will be prizes, okay? Prizes! All right, next up, let's bring in our cardstock here. Um, this template, picture of this template, is going to be on my blog, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? It's also gonna be posted on this Facebook page, so you can come back here and you can look at it as many times as you need to. But what we've got here is four and a quarter by 11, four and a quarter, 11. It's just a half a tall sheet of cardstock. You're gonna score it at five and a half, five and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, nine and an eighth, 10 and five eighths. That's pretty much all there is to this. Let's get started. Okay, I am going to be using Rich Razzleberry. And again, this is four and a quarter by 11. And then here comes the beautiful paper. Now, hang on a second, because I don't have that. Here it is. I don't have this paper on my little DSP samplers yet. So I'm going to bring it out because it is definitely worth our time to look at it. Even if you have it already, you're going to want to look at it again, right? <gasps> Charlene, I see you're on here. Congratulations, you won. Woohoo! Please give me your address. Oh, was it Charlene? No, it wasn't Charlene I needed an address for. Charlene, I have your address, but congratulations. It is Shirley Ann Nicholson. Sorry. <laughs> I got so excited when I saw your name. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. And it's specialty paper. It's got gold um, foil embossing on it. Look at this. Look at how spectacular that is. Oh my gosh, right? <gasps> The owls, oh, can you see that gold foil? Mm, so pretty. And let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, here's, here's a different one. Yeah, can you see I've been chopping it up like crazy? Look at how pretty that is. I like this, this is very interesting. Then we have a whole page like this that has these, these weedy flower plants on it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is there anything else in here? Uh, did we do this one yet? Nope. Here we have this one. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me clean up my mess. I'm glad you guys are so patient with me because I really do love to show you things, but then sometimes I feel like I don't want to waste your time either. But I know we have to be mindful that there are, you know, people who might not have this paper or new people who have never even seen me before and don't have any clue what I'm talking about. I love those people too. <laughs> You should be stampers, you people. <laughs> Look at, here's that, here's that page. Isn't that so pretty? God, oh, I just love it. Mm, so, so pretty. Okay, so you get all this 12 by 12 paper in a pack. Let me get it out of the way here. And it's called, hang on, Blackberry Beauty 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. Oh, so pretty. All right. We are going to get started. Now what I have here is a couple pieces of um, this designer series paper. This is the pattern I'm gonna use for my bay window card. And what I wanted to tell you is that to decorate the front of our card with designer series paper, you need about a four by four and a half inch piece. And to do the inside with designer series paper, you need a Six and, a, six and a quarter inch piece, so four by six and a quarter. So if you have scraps, I just want you to know that's how much you need. Okay, we are going to do our scoring first. So get your, you wanna get your trimmers out 
and we are going to score where that template go. Here's our template right here. We are going to score at five and a half, just like you would if you were just making a regular card, okay? Five and a half. And should I bring this in here? You guys really loved that I posted this ruler, didn't you? I'm so happy somebody asked for it. That was really nice. I, did, I just didn't even think about doing it, so bad me. But anyways, here are all the increments. And while you think that all this measuring is very hard, once you get used to your one inch increments in eighths, it's not hard at all. So we've got five and a half. Then we're gonna go to five and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, nine and one eighth. And I suppose this is probably a little bit easier for me because I had drafting in high school. Drafting is what you take before you do woodworking. Now we're gonna do 10 and five eighths. So again, five and a half, five and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, nine and an eighth, and 10 and five eighths. So yeah, I had drafting in high school and um, I was gonna take woodworking, but we moved right in between the semesters. And when I got to my new school, the new woodworking teacher didn't like girls in his class. Can you believe that? Yeah, so I didn't take it. What a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I went on to take woodworking classes at our local tech college. And um, I made some really beautiful things like an end table and an entertainment center, shelves for the walls that had drawers in them. And oh, so fun. Then I started stamping and I was all gone. <laughs> Okay, um, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut our cardstock or our designer series paper. So I like to cut it like this. And since I have a different, definite pattern on here, I am going to keep all of these in order. If you were doing, well, this one is a definite pattern too, but if you were doing like some other type of pattern that didn't matter, you'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna shut up. Okay, we are going to cut this one at a quarter of an inch. So I'm going this way because it's just easier to cut. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna set it right here. Can you guys see that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it around because we're going that way. And I'm going to cut uh, one and a quarter. And I'll put this all in writing for you. Then one and a half then one and a quarter and another quarter inch. Make sure it's straight, it's important. Okay, so we've got our one and a quarter. Where'd that eighth go, or quarter go? We've got this and then this and see how it matches up, okay? And then we've got one and a half and that matches up. And then we've got one and a quarter, and that matches up. And then here is our last little quarter piece. All right, now this other piece is for the inside. And the piece for the inside is going to be, oh, I don't think this is big enough. Oh, that's why I have this other one over here. <laughs> So I have two of these so that I could just keep going. Okay, so we need a quarter. I'm gonna turn this around, do my quarter over here again. I know, I'm kind of squirrely about that, aren't I? Quarter, and then one and a quarter. One and a half. And then our last piece, we need two inches. So I'm gonna put that over in my scrap pile and I'm gonna cut out two inches. Okay, so these are for the inside. These are for the front. I will give this all to you in very simple, simplified numbers. Like you need three at a quarter by four, you need four at a one and a quarter by four, so don't worry about that. Whew, I'm sweating, hang on. <laughs> yeah, that whole Facebook thing really did um, almost sent me right over the edge when I couldn't find the live thing because that's not cool. 
I was afraid I was going to have to abandon you tonight. And, oh my goodness, I would never do that. You know me better, right? Okay, we're going to fold on these score lines. So there's our middle. Then we're going to fold this, this one up. The next two go down and down, and this one goes up. And you'll see it when you put your card together because this is what's going to make our bay window. So I'm just going to do my burnishing, that fancy English word that my English, my demonstrator friends in the UK taught me. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, remember, this was all of our goodies for the front. Oh, I don't know where this one goes. Does that one go over there? What did I do? Hang on. Here we go. Oh, huh, this goes right here. Hello. <laughs> Keep those in, keep those in order. Okay, um, we're going to add, you could put your glue on the back of your little strip or right on your card front, but we're gonna start right here. And we're gonna do this. Are you guys still with me? Is anybody sleeping? There's no sleeping tonight. I need you to pay attention. <laughs> There's gonna be a test later. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that was really sassy, wasn't it? I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> okay, here comes our next one, and it's going to go right in between your score lines. Oh, it seems like I have kind of a big margin at the top. Here comes our next one. This is the bigger one. This is one and a half. That was one and a quarter. Here we go. Here comes the next one. Hello, Linda from Massachusetts. Here comes the next. I've never been to Massachusetts. I've been a lot of places, but I've not I've not spent a lot of time on the East Coast. Isn't that interesting? Well, maybe it's not so interesting. <laughs> but yeah, maybe someday I'll get um, out there to go through when it's fall, but probably not because that's hunting season. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Okay, now here's what's gonna happen on the inside. We are going to do a little bit of stamping before we start gluing things down there. So we're gonna have a three by four piece of basic white, and I'm going to bring in my rich Razzleberry ink, which is one of the coordinating colors with this beautiful paper. I'm going to stamp my, I'm here for you first because sometimes I get this pretty crooked. So let me stand up. I did pretty good. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this beautiful bird. Now this bird is so detailed, it looks real. And let me show you how gorgeous that is. It's just incredibly beautiful. As are, the other images in here too. They're like the distinctive look real. Okay, um, we're done with that. Let me close that up. Now the reason why I had to stamp this is because we need to put this piece on next. Well, not, not quite yet. This two inch piece goes right here. So we're gonna do that first and then our white layer. Then we're gonna make our book binding for this thing. I know, lots of things, right? And I'm telling you, please don't get discouraged by, oh my gosh, that's a lot of steps. It really is so simple. You're gonna, you're gonna just amaze your friends and family with this gorgeous card. Oops, Let's see if I can get it even. A little crooked. So I'm leaving a little bit of gap in here. And the reason why we had to put this on here now is because we're gonna use tear and tape in the book binding, and I call it a book binding because that's kind of the way the fold is. It's like the binding on a book. So we're gonna put some tear and tape in there because this is definitely not gonna let that binding pop apart. I hate it when my cards don't stay together. Okay, so here we go. Just close it. And now you can see it opens like that. So that's why we had to get that white in there first. Make sure you stamp over far enough too. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Thank goodness it just worked out. Whew. But yeah. 
Leanne says she wouldn't let herself sleep through my life. Well, good for you. Sometimes I know people fall asleep. So let me put my ruler back up on my wall. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate the inside. We're gonna finish this off with these other pieces. And then we're gonna talk about the pieces again so that they make sense for you, okay? Because I know that a lot watching this, it's like, oh, good Lord, I don't even know what she means. I mean, I would be doing that, so I will. I will get, you, get this all figured out for you. Okay, so there we go. And then next, oh, I think I'm missing a piece again. Did I push one away? I did. Is this the one I pushed away? No, I don't think that's the right one. Okay, so hang on, we'll figure it out. Um, so now we use this side, now we're gonna use this side of our paper. So I'm gonna put the glue right here and I'm gonna put it in between these score lines, just like that. Here is the bigger piece. Yeah, see that's too big. And this is, I gotta cut this down a little bit. This needs to be one and a quarter. Oops, sorry. Oh, maybe this is it. What do you think? Oh, okay, there we go. That was the piece I was missing. I didn't take it off. So then we're gonna do this one. I wanna make sure my birds are right side up. So, and my flowers. So make sure you pay attention to that. Do you ever get done with the card and you look at it and then you have something completely upside down and you never noticed it? Yeah, yeah, me, I've done that. Mm -hmm. I'm good at things like that. Yeah, see, this is the wrong size. This is too big. Hang on, I'm gonna cut this. I don't know what happened there. Jeez, stop banging things around, Kelly. Okay, we're gonna do one and a quarter. Yeah, I just, oops, I cut wrong. Sorry, guys, it happens. It's hard to hang on to this under that channel. Okay, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of work, wasn't it? Oh, I hear lots of people outside riding their motorcycles. My husband actually took his motorcycle out of the garage the other day and went to the store. He hasn't ridden it, like, in forever. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so now this is the bay window part of it. This is what all the scoring was about. Okay, so now we have to do some more things here. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this scrap of Rich Razzleberry and a Versamark ink pad because there's all this gold in here and I just wanted to carry that through to my sentiment. So I have some gold embossing powder. Oh, thank you, Sam. She says absolutely gorgeous. It is so pretty. Like, I don't think you could make an ugly card with this paper. Like, it's so beautiful. So now I've got the sentiment that says, I know this is a difficult day. And, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but um, in my hometown, I come from a very small little hometown in the middle of Wisconsin. They have a storm. There's our gold embossing powder. Um, they had a storm, and... Some county workers were out trying to clear a tree off the highway and somebody hit them. And oh my goodness, one of the guys didn't make it. The other guy just came home and he's a f close family friend um, that lives on the next road by my mom. He just came home from the hospital. So this is one of those things that, you know, you need a card that says, I know this is a difficult day or I know things are tough. Okay. I'm gonna heat set this. And you're just gonna keep your heat tool in one place. People like to do this and all that. You don't need to do any of that. You just hold it in place. Can you see it turning? Once it's all shiny and there's nothing dull, you're finished. And look at, look at how pretty that is, right? That beautiful gold. Okay, so let me get this closed up. Oh. Now, I said we were going to be using these tasteful label dies. And 
And I'm gonna take this one. I really like that one. I've used it a lot. And we are going to die cut this. And I wanna die cut this so that my sentiment isn't in the middle, but off to the side here. So can you see that? It's off to the side. And then I've already got that die cut. Yay me. <laughs> It's just like magic. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna open up this Blackberry Beauty Ephemera pack. I have, does anybody know what ephemera means? I don't. I didn't even look it up to find out. I have no idea. I'm a stamper. Um, I don't know fancy things like that. But look at this. These are all dies. You just pop them right out. Little um, all gold frames. Oh, so so pretty. This banner is just beautiful. So we get one sheet of this. We get two sheets of this. These are all die cut. I'm going to pop this one out. But look at the owl. Oh, somebody told me they had to get this sweet because their spirit animal is an owl. And I thought that was so sweet. And then you get two sheets of that. You get all of these pretty foils. And so, Oh, I'm not using the owl for this card. I'm going to use it on something else, but not tonight. So don't get your, don't get excited. Um, look at this tag. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah. So if you were in our catalog kickoff, you're getting a pack of this stuff in your make and take pack. And these are so, so pretty. So these are all die cut. This one is a little tricky because it's so intricate that these little spiky leafy things are kind of getting stuck on the left behind. There we go. It, it is pretty um, hardy. So you saw I just kind of pulled it out of there. Don't, don't get too crazy with it though. I don't want you to ruin anything. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Nobody likes a ruiner. Okay. I'm gonna put this all back and it comes in a nice little pack that you can keep it contained in. Where did that go? Does anybody see? Is this it? No. Oh, here it is. Let me put this away so I don't lose my bits and pieces. I know you guys are patient, right? Take a drink. Okay, Bev says, ephemera means items of collectible memorabilia, typically written or printed ones that were originally expected to have only short-term usefulness or popularity. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I will never, ever remember that. <laughs> I just want you to know that when I ask again what that means, you're just going to tell me as if you have never said anything. Do we have a deal, Bev? <laughs> just keeping it real, folks. Okay. So here comes this beautiful thing. And I know it's really hard for you to see this in the camera, but it is gold embossed and it's very pretty. I'm gonna take the flowers and I'm gonna add just a teeny weeny bit of glue. And just a teeny weeny weeny little bit of glue. And I'm going to put those flowers right here. Look at how pretty that is. Let me get some white here behind this. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? <gasps> I know it's so elegant. Okay, I get so excited. Now, we're gonna finish this up. Where'd that gold ribbon go? Here it is. We're gonna take just a little piece of the gold ribbon and I am going to, I want my slanty, my diagonal slanty. <laughs> my diagonal end of my ribbon to go that way. There we go. We got that going on. I'm going to take a little bit of tape and I'm going to tape that to the bottom of my label, just like this, okay? That's just a really neat way to add a little touch of bling, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Let's move it a little bit. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Sometimes the ribbon can be the hardest. <laughs> just kidding, it shouldn't be. I want to see mine. I'm really picky about stuff like this. There we go. Okay, that's where I wanted it. Good grief. <laughs> okay, where is my basket of delicious dimensionals? Right here. So I'm just going to take some dimensionals and I'm going to put them right in the middle of my label. You don't want them to go towards the outside at all. Just put them straight down the middle, okay? 
and here comes our card. This is gonna go right in the middle and I'm just dying because it's so pretty. So pretty, right? And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put some mini dimensionals on it. Let me find them because I had them earlier and now, oh, you know what? I think I sent them home with the Kathy. Well, I've got some black ones here until I find, oh, did I have some on the floor? No, nope, I picked them up. Huh, anyways. What's that? That's not dimensionals either. I don't know what happened to them. Anyways, I've got black dimensionals. They'll work fine because you can't see behind here. I usually only use the black ones for black or dark cardstock, right? But there we go. Oh, I want one more right down here. You don't need this many dimensionals, but heck. <laughs> this is a take your pick tool, by the way. I love it. This is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna just put this right in the middle. It's on dimensionals and this is what pops up your bay window. Look at bay window. Look at how amazing. Are you guys like going, oh, I know, right? Yeah, isn't that pretty? I am in love, 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 love with this whole deal. So somebody just asked if they could please case my beautiful card. Let me talk to you about casing cards. You have my permission to case absolutely everything that I make, okay? Always. You have my permission granted out into infinity. Um, I find that to be the biggest form of flattery. And you don't even have to give me credit. If you're a demonstrator, you case anything you want. You don't have to give me credit. I don't care. It, that doesn't matter to me at all. There are so many cards out there like whatever. I know some people get a little cranked about it, but not me. You case away. But I just, I can't stop looking at this because it's so pretty, right? Okay. Um, one last thing that I brought out here, right, was the brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. We established that was hard to say earlier. <laughs> We've got gold and copper and pewter. Take your pick tool. This is a little bit of putty in the end there, which is what I use to put my embellishments on because it just is so much easier than trying to pick these off or use scissors or whatever. And let's see, I'm gonna put one more right down here. And now we have our embellishments. This is flat, it goes right into an envelope. And then I have a lot of people say, but how will people know that they're supposed to put this in here? You could put a little post-it note here that says tuck, tuck card edge under here to make a bay window. Or, yeah, that's what Renee is asking me right now. Or, this is just a pretty card without even being a bay window, okay? But I would put a little post-it note that says tuck edge of card under here to make a bay window. Yeah, put a note in there. But otherwise, it is just, it's a pretty card, regardless of whether it makes bay window or not, I would say. <laughs> okay, so enough of me like going, oh, look at my beautiful card. <laughs> it is, Renee says it is truly stunning, beautiful colors. Yeah, this paper is amazing, amazing. Cinnamon cider is what this um, kind of brownish yellow color is. And it is, it's just so, so pretty. All right, now you remember that this was the card that Sharon Kersey sent me, right? With the strawberries. So if you guys have the strawberry bundle and the strawberry paper, you can't get that anymore, the paper. You can still get the strawberry bundle, but you can't get this paper because it was part of celebration. But hers tucks right under that little strawberry, right there, same thing, bay window. All right. You guys want more? <laughs> I know you do. I know you guys well. I know you want more. Okay, let me put some of this stuff away. I don't want to lose anything. The other day I dropped a die. It, I heard it fall under my desk. I looked immediately under my desk to find out where it was, and I could not find it. It was horrific. Like, I was... I was so mad because it was the, the tree die. It was the trunk of the tree from 
my beautiful friendship stamp set or whatever it's called. But anyways, yeah. Um, I did find it and it fell under my desk and it was way over there against the wall under my desk. It bounced that far. Okay, next up. We are going to, let's see, which one are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do this one. We are going to bring in, what are you guys drinking tonight? Thank you guys so much. I'm looking at all the comments. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank you so much. I know, like I said, it's the paper. It is, well, in the ephemera kit, in the ribbon, it's all the coordinating products that Stampin' Up! gives us, right? It just makes it so easy to create with. I didn't even stumble around with this card when I was making it. It was like, okay, I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. Boom. So it didn't take me very long today. As a matter of fact, I was so far ahead of schedule that I actually got to put on my swimsuit and go lay by the pool and read my book for a little while this afternoon before Steve fed me. Boom. Yeah, we didn't have Sunday fun day today. <clears throat> I don't know. None of the kids came over. They were busy. Okay, <clears throat> next card. There must be a Christmas idea to us with this card. Oh, yeah, that was a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got it. You said it. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Now, I am going to use the Peaceful Prints. This is free. This paper in 12 by 12 is free during celebration with your $50 order. Then I've got um, Smoky Slate, Real Red. I'm bringing in the Red Rhinestone Basic Jewels. These are a must have at Christmas time. These are super quick and easy little embellishments. And you get 220 of these on a card. And again, they're called Red Rhinestone Basic Jewels. When you go to my online store, you type that in red rhinestone these should pop right up we're going to be using that fabulous deer punch and some of this beautiful glittered organdy ribbon in white okay let me find my stamp set because that went away oh it's in my next it's in my next bin okay here's the peaceful deer now when i first saw this i wasn't all that excited about it but i love punches so i knew that i would get it because it has a matching punch but can i just say that even without this punch these trees are beautiful the sentiments are just really nice i love the fonts on them but the deer i can do so many things with these deer this is great for man cards for birthdays get well happy retirement Good luck hunting, all the things besides Christmas. You could put other sentiments with this. So I really like this and I love punches for their, their quick and easy, right? Okay. <clears throat> Peaceful prints, free with a $50 order. Now, I am going to bring in my bits and pieces here. I have already scored my bay window, just like we did in the last card, right? So five and a half, five and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, nine and an eighth, 10 and an eighth, five eighths. Then we've got the quarter inch here, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and a quarter, quarter inch. That's how they go on here. Once you score your card stack, because I know you all are gonna join my challenge to make one of these. Once you score your card, con cardstock, you're going to see exactly where these different panels go. This one's a little bit bigger, so it's one and a half by four. These are one and a quarter by four, one and a quarter by four, quarter inch. Then this one is two inches wide by four, and we've got the same thing over here. One and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a half, quarter inch. And isn't, I kind of messed up, so we're going to fix this in a second. I got ahead of myself. I was having so much fun making cards today. I'm like, no, I want to show them how to do this. <laughs> so beautiful, beautiful paper. I used this one and this one together. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do a little bit of stamping with the stamp set. And like I said, I wasn't really sure about the stamp set, but I have really fallen in love with it. So our panel, let's see which one. This is the panel that's gonna go on the inside of our card. So here's what I'm gonna to do to it. I'm gonna take my real red ink and I'm gonna use the sentiment that says, 
sending love and peace this season. Very, very pretty. Then I am going to take a scrap of cardstock and I'm going to look at my punch because this is the one we're gonna punch out, okay? I'm going to stamp my deer in real red. Oh, it's like so pretty. It says, oh, what fun. And we're going to punch that up. Make sure your scrap is big enough so you have something to hang on to out here, right? Let's see if I can get this lined up. That looks great. Okay, so not only do you have the deer, you have a little red nose or you can make a red nose, and you have antlers. We're not gonna use those for this card, but look at antlers, yeah. So, dimensionals on the back of this, which went where? Oh, right over here. Our dimensionals on our deer. And then how about just one under the head? And again, I don't know where my little white ones are, but, oh, I just heard my husband. Going out in the garage. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this. Then, oh, I want to do a little bit more to this. So we're done with the red ink. We're going to, did you notice I didn't even get any on my, well, maybe a little bit there. Oh, I can't even say I didn't get it all over myself. Red ink, me and red ink. Do you guys have a problem with red ink? Beth, you have to go back and watch from the beginning. Lots of fun happening there. <laughs> I know, Chris, Chris Woods, um, those are, where'd that punch go? These are the deer horns. <laughs> if you were on last week, you know why I'm laughing. Okay, and now we're going to take these trees. I think these trees in the stamp set are so pretty. I'm going to stamp those with Smoky Slate ink right over here. And then I didn't know if I wanted to do some more trees or not. I think I'm gonna leave it at that, but there's more trees. You got triple here, you got double trees here, so pretty. Okay, I'm done with that. Now, I grabbed a black and a white scrap. What does this say? And, Chris, oh, okay. I left myself a little note because I knew I'd forget to do something. I haven't actually made this card yet. So this is the layering circle dies in basic white and then a scalloped fond de layer behind in basic black. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to grab the Stampin' Right marker and I'm going to flick on this white circle. And I did that just to kind of tone it down a little bit, right? It's really stark white. I think it's gonna look really neat when we put this deer on here. Haley was helping me over the last several weeks and she's a big flicker. <laughs> she likes to flick things with the markers. And so now I'm, I'm on a flicking jag too, <laughs> which is much different than like a drunk jag. <laughs> okay, here comes our little deer. And I like that. I like that flicking behind there, right? Let me see, if we didn't flick anything, it would look like this. So you decide whether you're a flicker or you're not a flicker. <laughs> okay, we are ready to put the rest of our card together. Now, I had to rip this out earlier because I glued it in and I'm like, Kelly, 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 you're gonna demonstrate this card. You're not just making a card, what are you doing? Hang on, I got some, where's my tissue? Tissue, tissue, tissue. Got a little glue thing growing on here. Oh, there she comes. Here comes our inside. We're gonna leave a little border in between our designer paper right here. Make sure that's straight. Little border there. Now we need our tear and tape, which is right here. Don't you guys love this stuff? Remember when we had sticky strip and that worked great, but this is the same thing and you can tear it and you don't have those annoying red backings all over the place. They find forever. 
I was vacuuming up. Um, dimensional backings are out in my hallway going down my stairs. I was vacuuming those up last night. I'm like, oh my gosh, I sure do make a mess, don't I? Okay, so we're putting that in that channel. You're going to close your card. And now we have that neat book binding, right? And then, oh, to, oh yeah, okay. This we're going to put on the front of our card, but I wanted to do some crisscross ribbon behind it first. So where is my seal plus? Oh, here it is. It's hiding way over there. This is seal plus. This is one of our tape runners. This is really good for assembling like things like boxes, but um, I'm going to use it. I like to use this to do this little technique. So we're going to go like this and then, oops. I like to see what I'm doing on the front. So that's why I've kind of got it so I can see it. And you're going to do a little loop. And this is a very popular look right now with ribbon. It's just to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Okay, that's what I did. And we're gonna go with dimensionals again. I can use my black ones here. Oh, you know what? Hang on, I don't, well, I think we'll be okay. I was gonna say, I don't like the way that looks on the back, but nobody's gonna see the back of this. If they were gonna see the back of it, I was gonna put another scalloped black layer over top of this piece so you wouldn't be able to see that this isn't really, oh shoot, I can't do that, isn't really that attractive. You only want your dimensionals to go down the middle. Don't forget that. So you know what? I'm not gonna wreck this card because it's really pretty and I haven't even gotten it made yet. I'm gonna grab a piece of black so that I can put that backing on there. Otherwise, <laughs> the um, the seal that I have running over here is gonna stick to our bay window. It's not gonna work right. So, glad I thought of that. Hang on, take a drink. I'll be right back. And here we go. Okay. Yes, I am going to put this over top of the scallop. And you want to make sure you line it up good so it's even and doesn't look stupid. <laughs> you guys like the way I just call it like it is. Make sure you line it up so it's not stupid. Yeah, it's not very nice, but... It's me keeping it real and I'm gonna this is a little heavier now so I'm gonna put three dimensionals in there I don't know if you really need them or not but I got a lot of them so we're gonna go with it I don't like it when my cards fall apart all right here we go <gasps> isn't that cute okay now these little red embellishment rhinestones we can put one right on the nose there. Now we have Rudolph. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna go a little crazy with them because you get a million of them on a card, right? How about that? Oh, I think we need more. How about one right over here? Okay, so we have that. Now what's gonna be our class to hold this up? Well, let me tell you about it. I went through my arsenal of dyes looking for snowflake dyes and I found this so many snowflakes. And then I couldn't remember what stamp set that was with. It's in the annual catalog. It goes with this beautiful stamp set called Snowflake Wishes with these snowflake dyes. So I pulled out a snowflake. I got this one right here. It's a good size snowflake and I'm going to use this for my bay window deal. So what I'm gonna do, I think maybe I'm gonna use a black oh, mini dimensional. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna push it down really hard. Oh, that you, do you see why I did that? I don't wanna see white 
coming through there, but there's black and red behind this, so I think that's perfect. Well, it wouldn't have mattered if I pushed it. Oh, pushed it down onto here. That's what I meant. Gosh, can you tell? I can't even, I don't even know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to put that right there, and then where'd those rhinestones go? Did anybody see them? Oh, here they are. We're going to do this right here. Oh, what do you think, you guys? This was, these are so fun. And there is our little bay window. What do you think? Is it making you happy? Yay! Hannah, I gotta get rid of something on my screen. There we go. I see the hearts coming up. Oh, somebody clicked on Mad Face. I know you didn't mean that, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Boy, that's arrogant, isn't it? Um, I know because Marsha one time was watching me and she was like, oh my gosh, Kelly, I clicked on the mad face by accident and I'm so sorry. That is not what I meant. And I'm like, I know that, Marsha. <laughs> but it was really cute. Okay, so there's our next one. Okay. Oh, do you guys want to see one more? Because like I kind of went crazy. I'm thinking you want to see it. Hang on. So I'm really intrigued. <clears throat> I'm really, I'm really intrigued by these Christmas Christmas trees or evergreen trees. I just think they're so pretty. Like they make me happy. So here, oh, is this another brand new pack of those? Like, geez, Kelly, how many do you have to open at once? Hang on. Yeah, it is another brand new pack. I don't need to open another pack. Um. But I did buy a lot of these because they're really nice. I buy lots when they're really nice. Here comes my other card. And I did the same thing with this one. Is that I've already got it started here. So I already did all the scoring. I put the paper on. Isn't this paper pretty? I It's perfect. <gasps> Look at how pretty that inside is. And where is this paper coming from? Oh, let me show you. <laughs> Marsha said she did the mad faces again twice tonight. Don't worry, Marsha. I don't pay attention to the mad faces. <laughs> Here we go. It's the same paper, you guys. Free with your $50 order. This is until the end of September or we run out of paper. I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. So, Peaceful Prints, again with the Peaceful Deer stamp set. Okay, so let me show you what I got in mind here. We are going to, okay, we're gonna stamp, we're gonna stamp, oh, let me think about this for a minute because I haven't made this card yet either. This piece, oops, goes in here. Yep, this piece is gonna go in here. So this is the inside. I took and cut a scallop rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. It's this one right here. So I have that. And I've got evergreen or garden green. This is garden green. Thank you guys so much. Jenny says she has five packs of the Peaceful Prints designer series paper. That is excellent because you are gonna be able to use that for your Christmas and you know what? This one doesn't even have to be Christmas. I could actually use this as a get well card for a man or a birthday card or anything I need, right? So keep that in mind, Ginny. You can do all kinds of stuff with this, with this um, designer paper. Okay, here's our front, here's our inside. So um, I wanted to stamp the tree. Let me think about this for a minute because I haven't actually done it. Um, I think I'm going to stamp the tree. We're going to use Garden Green ink. And I'm going to do the tree. Ooh, that's so pretty, isn't it? And then we've got these little trees. Let's pull these down a little bit. And it's going to look like they're coming from like two different areas. Oh, that's dumb. I should have put this down further and that up. Let's try that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down low. 
because it's gonna look like it's closer to us and it's really big. Then I'm gonna put this up here and then I'm gonna stamp it again. I'm gonna stamp off and maybe stamp it again. Look at that, look, do you see what I did there? I've got like, this is really close. Let's do this. I'm gonna stamp this again too. Look at that. So this one's really close to us. That one's off on a hill. That's my story. <laughs> We're gonna stamp on here with the Let's Celebrate. And now with this, even with this sentiment, hang on, I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing. With this sentiment, this could be a retirement card. It could be a birthday card. Yeah. Um, I actually, I could send this to David that just got out of the hospital from the car from the accident last week. I think I'm gonna do that. So I was going to stamp a Christmas sentiment in here that says, wishing you a wonderful year of friendship and dear. But I think I'm not gonna put this on here, but that's what was my idea is to put this in here um, because I'm gonna send this to David that just got out of the hospital, my family friend that was um, lost his leg because some moron was driving drunk. That's what happened. Okay. Whoops. So I think I'm going to stamp this here and here, and this is just going to be my inside. That's what I'm going to have. Isn't that so pretty, you guys? Yeah, so pretty. <laughs> Judith is on here. She says she loves the trees. The DSP is great. I'll need more packs. Yes, you will, and you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Oops, hang on, I got, I got stickers coming off the back of my ink pads. Um, we're ready to put this together. So here comes our inside. Yeah, this is gonna be a great man card. Like, I'm glad I thought of that because I've kind of been looking. I have a note over here, send David a card, send David a card, and I was gonna have to go dig through my arsenal of cards and see what I have. I have like some old fashioned cards <laughs> with old fashioned drinks on the top from the whiskey business, right? Um, where's my tearing tape? Here it is. But yeah, I wasn't sure what I was gonna send him and this is perfect. So let's do this. Okay. We are ready. Oops. Ouch. There we go. Okay. Mm. Shoulders hurting again. I don't know what the deal is. And there's our binding. Oh, whew, I thought I got something gross on there. Um, here comes the front of our card. And was I going to? Oh, I know what I was going to do. Hang on. I forgot to get it out. I was gonna use some of this. Oh, by the way, this card base is the Evening Evergreen. I forgot to say that, you guys, I'm so sorry. Card base is Evening Evergreen. And I think I'm going to do my same ribbon thing. So I am only, let's see, how is that gonna work? I'm only gonna put, let's take the lid off this seal plus. I'm only gonna put this down the middle. That's gonna be a smarter idea. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I can, I can come up with the smarter ideas. Okay, and we're gonna do this. And then that tape just really helps keep everything in place, that tape runner down the middle. It makes your life a lot happier. This is the Evening Evergreen Sheer Ribbon. This is on back order right now, but it is still orderable. So let's see what that looks like. I think I'm going to maybe go back one more time. See what happens here. Let's see. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, I think I like that one more time. What do you guys think? I think I like the one more time. Okay. Oops, I almost stabbed myself. All right, now we're going to do the dimensionals in the middle. <clears throat> And I just have these black ones. There's no reason why I'm using them. Just know that. It's just because they're handy. So again, just in the middle, the middle of this layer. You don't want to go out to the sides with this because that'll jack up your whole card. 
Nobody needs a jacked up bay window card, right? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, good grief. This is so pretty. Okay, we got that. Now, where did... Where did my... Oh, here's my, here's my card right here. I think we can use some of these on here. Got it embellished. Let's embellish. And I am thinking... What do you guys think about copper with this? Do you think that's a good color? It kind of pops. I'm thinking it'll work. One, two, and three. That's kind of my deal. I always do the one, two, and three. Okay, so there's that. Here's this. What is going to hold this up here? Well, yeah, that was a tricky one, right? I don't, oh, yes, I do. I remember what my idea was. Have you guys seen this punch? Um, I don't know what it's called, so let's look it up because I just opened it up. But again, it's a punch and I must have <laughs> because punches are amazing. It is called the Starlit Punch. Starlight? Starlit. Starlit Punch. And it actually is from page 14. Nope, page 14. It does have a stamp set that goes with it. Let's look at it. Ooh, it's this pretty one. Here we go. The Starlet Punch. So bundle, you get this beautiful stamp set and the punch for $30.50. So if you buy that and buy a few, a couple other small things, you're going to get this paper for free, right? Yeah. Okay. So I am going to do this big star right here. Yep. And I did that in gold, and I see that I missed the end of it, so let's try it again. Mucho better. Here comes our star. Where's my black dimensionals? Right here. This shirt that I'm wearing is really weird, like it keeps falling off my shoulders. It's just a t-shirt. I just wonder if it's maybe too big. It didn't like become too big overnight. I don't think that. <laughs> But I think maybe I just bought it too big. I don't know. Hang on, I'm gonna snip this end off here. I do not like it. Oh. Okay, that's good. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, oh, hang on, I cut that crooked now. I should have just left it alone, but no. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Leave the star alone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> what do you guys think? Oh, now I used, oh, I can't use copper. Sorry. Wrong answer. We can't use copper on here. We have to use gold because I just put gold paper on. If I would use copper star, I would have been fine, right? So, we're just going to pick these off of here and put them back and actually make everything go together, Kelly. Hello. Why didn't you guys tell me that? <laughs> Look at me blaming all of you. Okay, there we go. Now we have our gold and here is our gold star and I have lots of room to write David and then let's see. I am going to, do I still have that paper out? Yep, I do. So let's do this. Here's my paper trimmer. Move all the things out of the way. I'm going to do two and a half by six. There we go. Oops, I need that piece. You guys should have seen. I did um I did the catalog kickoff live class last week. I hope you guys were all a part of that. It was so much fun. Like we had a blast in there. We gave away tons of bundle prizes, 
all kinds of stuff. And now this week I have to get the make and takes cut and ready. But um, when I got done with that, I had like a holy cow mess all over my office. And then I think within a day or two, I did the Stamp Pappy Live class with nine different cards and layouts. Um, and then I really had another big mess. I could spend one tornado through here after another. <laughs> it was a busy week last week. It was pretty crazy, but so fun. We had a lot of fun. If you, um, if I didn't tell you about it, we have a fall stamp of blues or retreat. I think it's going to include, I want to say like 60 make and takes. Don't quote me on that, but all the information is on my blog in the online class. Oh, look at, I wasn't paying attention either, but I got my trees right side up. So that's great, right? I'm like, oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. But here is my beautiful card that I can send to David who just got out of the hospital. You guys, this was the coolest thing. He had a, um, a convoy or escorts. The whole, he works for the county. He's a county um, highway worker or whatever they're called. Anyways, all the county dump trucks escorted him home from the hospital. It was like somebody um, video recorded it. They videotaped it and put it on Facebook and I watched it. I actually had tears. Like I was like, oh my gosh, this is what small town USA is all about. And I love it. But yeah, they escorted him and he had police cars and dump trucks from the city that escorted him home from the hospital. It was just so fantastic. Yeah. Okay, here's our other card. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love these. And then here's the beauty of tomorrow. This was so fun. So if you didn't catch me from the beginning, this is a bay window card. And I am going to be posting this template um, with a with a challenge graphic on this Facebook group. So you're going to go to a stamp above dash your creative coach group, which is the group you're watching me in right now. And you're going to scroll until you see this template. Under that template, you're going to make these cards. You're going to make your own bay window card and you're going to post it under the graphic just like you would post a comment when you go put your cursor in there and you you're gonna type something, a little camera will be over to one side or the other. You click on that and you can pull a picture from your phone or you can take a picture right there. And then you gotta hit return or enter, click enter or hit return on your computer. It will post a picture of your card under there and I'm gonna have a giveaway or maybe more than one. I don't know, depends on how many people order or how many people enter. But I would love to see you guys in this challenge. I think it's gonna be super, super fun to see all the different ideas. Don't be afraid of this. You saw it's just some scoring and I gave you the ruler so nobody has any excuses. <laughs> Here's the ruler. You can use anything. Tina's asking if you can use retired products. You can use anything you want. I would prefer that, um, you know, at least 50% of it stamp it up because that's what we're doing here. But you can use retired stamp it up product, doesn't matter, retired paper, whatever makes you happy. I just want to see your card creations. I'm really excited about seeing what you guys come up with because we've got a label going this way, we've got a, um, a rectangle going this way, and then a circle. I'm really, I'm really going to be. Um, I know pleasantly surprised to see what you guys come up with for this, right? Now, don't forget, I'm gonna go through my mail in a second, show you guys the beautiful mail that I got this week, but I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps these free videos coming. Also, I have um, lots of online classes on my blog right now. Some beautiful, beautiful ideas. Let me see if I can show you anything over here. Oh. This was my Pretty Pumpkins cards that I made for a blog hop on Friday. And this is my kit class, not these. These are two more ideas for you, but four more ideas. You get to make two of each for a total of eight cards using the Pretty Pumpkins bundle. So that's one of my online classes right now. I've also am doing an online class with the Christmas season. I've got that going. 
and Stampapalooza, which is in September. Stampapalooza is $159, and it includes $100 in product, plus a make and take packet. It's going to be amazing. Let me grab my mail. Oh, maybe I didn't get any mail. Huh. I don't see any mail. That's so funny. I thought I got some mail. I'm sorry. I don't have any mail. So, yeah, you guys need to send me some mail. What do you think? What do you think this is here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I always appreciate the mail that I get, and I do get a lot of mail, so I'm very, very fortunate. <laughs> I was just being a little snarky. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions for me that I might have missed? Um, here, let me keep these in the in the screen, right? I gotta turn on my fan because holy man, it's hot. It's getting humid again, which is good. Pool season is almost over. I'm a little sad about that. As I was, I was laying out there today, I'm like, ugh. I know, Barbara, I'm thinking that I have mail too, but I did, maybe didn't bring it up here to my office. I don't know. I know, Judy, right? <laughs> Judy says, can't believe no mail. I know, I'm really sorry. Do you guys wanna see some swap cards? Wait, wait, I have cards. Hang on. Let's see, here we go. <gasps> you guys, I have swap cards from my team I can share with you. So, hang tight. Now, if your card, if you're on my team, we do a swap every month and it's so much fun. Where is the pumpkin class, Sandra wants to know. It's on my blog, Sandra. And if you go to my blog, www.stampabove.com, you are going to scroll down until you see the Pretty Pumpkins online class. It's like, that's, uh, where did those cards go? You're gonna see this card and this card on that post that has a registered link. So you'll find it, I'm sure you will. So anyways, my team does a swap every month and I've, I've told you guys over and over again, it's so much fun to be part of something bigger, right? And you can join my team as a discount shopper and never ever feel pressured into selling or doing anything like what I'm doing. I know that's a little scary for people and um, I know that I'm a little bit crazy and you gotta be kind of a certain kind of crazy to do this, right? <laughs> but um, if you join my team, you can just be a discount shopper, but you can also participate in all this other stuff. During celebration, you get to choose an extra bundle to add on to your already incredible um, discount shopper kit. You only spend $99 plus tax free shipping. You get to choose $125 in anything you want. You could get the you could get the deer punch, you could get the deer stamp set, you can get, you know, whatever you want for up to $125. Then you get to add on an extra bundle from the mini catalog, which is like if you pick one of the most expensive ones, an additional 60 bucks, plus you get a $20 paper pumpkin kit. So this kit is worth over $200. You pay $99. And look at Connie saying, Kelly never pressures you to do more than you are comfortable with. <gasps> she is the best. Thank you so much, Connie. But I really, really don't. I don't pressure people. So I just want you to know that you can be a discount shopper. Most of the people on my team are discount shoppers. That's what they are. And I love all of them, whether you're going to build a business or shop for yourself. So with that being said, this is the card swap from my team. We do a card swap every month that um, one of my team members, Kathy Miller, runs for me. And this is the first card. And I think this is from Sue Souza using that sheep set that is free with your $50 order. Isn't it fun? Yeah. Yeah, and Sherry's saying it's an amazing deal to join. You can't beat it. It's so great to be part of something bigger. It really is, isn't it? It's so much fun to be part of something bigger. And I have card challenges and I do a question and answer every Wednesday, a live, just like I'm doing here. I do a live through Zoom. You can join me on Zoom where we can see each other and talk. Um, I do business training if you are interested in it um, or just training for like our website and stuff like that. People who are discount shoppers can also join the business training so that they 
know how to use the website and things like that. It's a lot of fun. There's just a whole other world going on besides what you guys see here behind the scenes with my team. Look at how cute this is. This is a fun fold. This is Kathy Miller's swap card. She's the one who um, runs this swap. Oh my good Lord, I never opened this. Look at how cute that is. <gasps> oh, how fun. Again, with the pretty peaceful deer and the same paper we used on our card tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Kathy, that is so cool. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is. I got this set. I haven't used it yet. This is by Lisa Nealand. Lisa, your card is so pretty. Oh, I love this one. This is that beautiful little cabin. This is by Catherine Biades. I know I always say your last name wrong, Catherine, but look at how pretty that is. Beautiful. Here's the harvest. I love this stamp set bundle. I should say these dies are really incredible. This is by Sabrina Bartels. Oh, this is the same bundle right here. Isn't that pretty? Love that cork paper. This is by Jackie Blurge. Very pretty, Jackie. <gasps> the cute little penguins. And look, she used the glimmer paper to punch out her penguins. That is super cute. Now, this paper is also free during celebration with a $50 order. So this is by Lori Krause. She's one of my friends. Oh, I think this is a swap that I hosted maybe. My team swap is in a different bag. So I'll show that to you next time. Sorry, gosh, it's so confusing. I do, I, I do a lot of swaps. This is by Lisa D'Alessandro. And I just love saying her last name, right? D'Alessandro. I know that um, Anne D'Aquisto is working is watching tonight. I love to say her name too. <laughs> Look at how cute these are. Happy birthday. Hope your day is fan tabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. And look, she used Wink of Stella on her little sheep. Can you see that in the light? Super, super cute, Lisa. Oh my Lord, this is so cute. Good grief. And then we have this pretty one with that Delicate Dahlias, another free set during celebration with a $100 order. This is sp just spectacular. Love these colors. This is by Lorraine Duran. Then we have another really pretty card using the same paper I used here with the deer, right? Isn't that pretty? This is by Ruth Bingle. She's my friend from California, just transplanted to Arkansas. Crazy, right? <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. This is by Ginger Helmeet. And I'm going to open this up because I don't think. I think there's. Oh my goodness. Look at all those layers. This is just so pretty. This is that whimsy. I've got. I'm doing. Um, I'm doing a tutorial for October using this beautiful whimsical trees. But look at how pretty that is. Ginger, this is beautiful. Oh, let me put this, let me get this back in here so I know who. This is how I lose people's names on who made what. Not kidding. And I definitely hate it when I do that. I hate it when I do that. This is by Kathy Shaning. Yep, look at how pretty that is with that beautiful bedazzling paper in there. Free with the $50 order. Yep. We got lots of free going on right now. <gasps> look at how cute this is. The penguins and the free penguin paper. Oh, I don't know who made this. But it is very... Oh, I think it's... Let me open it. See what's going on here. Oh, so cute. I love the strip down the edge here too. But this penguin was punched right out of the designer paper. Isn't that neat? You can stamp your penguins, but you can also just punch them right out of the paper. That's really pretty. Look at this one. I love this snowman. This is a carryover from last year. He is an awesome snowman. And she used the same label here that I used on this card. So, very pretty. And this is Deb Printel. Very nice, Deb. And then we have the cute little ghosts. Look, they're like almost hugging. 
This is from that sweet little cute Halloween set. And this is by my friend Dina Rico. So yay! Okay, you guys, sorry I didn't have any mail, but I'm glad that my brain started working. And I'm like, well, I can show you some swap cards. I got lots of those. Yeah. This is where I get a lot of my inspiration is from mail. And, of course, these cards were inspired by mail, right, from Sharon Kersey. That's how, that's what inspired this whole class tonight. But also from swap cards. I love to get swap cards. It really, like, sparks my creativity and, and, um... I get a lot of good ideas that I can share with you from swapping. So if you'd like to join my team, there is a $99 kit button in the right-hand column of my blog, or at the bottom of every blog post, you're going to see a graphic with a whole bunch of us holding up our catalogs, and it says, join my team. You click there, you're going to see all the details. There are no strings attached. There's no hidden agenda. There's nothing sinister. You can be a discount shopper or you can build a business. You can build a small business. You can build a big business like I have. Um, I will never, ever mislead you. It is not easy what I do. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I work a lot, but I love, love, love you guys, and I love my job. So it's what I choose to do. But you can build a smaller business, and, um, you know, it's just a lot of fun. Or you can just get your products at a discount and be part of something bigger that is so much fun. So, yay! I would love to have you on my team. I appreciate all your orders. Again, this is my host code. If your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have all of those rewards that you are entitled to. Don't forget about celebration. It is the best time of the year to be ordering and stocking up on supplies because once you hit 50 bucks, you get to choose something free. If you stock up on supplies in October, you don't get to choose something free when you reach $50, right? So get your envelopes, get your glue and your adhesives, get your white cardstock, your crumb cake, your black, stuff that you go through a lot of. Um, order order that stuff so you're ready to roll. Order your Christmas stuff now rather than later because you're going to get free stuff when you do it during celebration. Celebration lasts until the end of September. Okay, I have no idea what time it is, but I think it's time to say good night. <laughs> I'm so grateful I figured out Facebook Live tonight because if you missed it at the beginning, it changed and I could not find the button. Suzette just asked, when does celebration end? September 30th or while supplies last? So if we run out of this paper, it's gone. That's the way it's going to go. But um, I'm hoping that we can have all of the stuff in stock right up until the end. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your Sunday night to spend with me. I have had so much fun with you. I appreciate and adore you. And I want you guys to have a fantastic week. Don't forget, bingo on Wednesday. And then if you're part of Stamp Happy Academy Live, I believe um, there's a live class this week on maybe Tuesday. And then I have a blog hop on Friday using watercoloring techniques. So I'm pretty excited about that. Have yourselves a wonderful week, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.